Alrighty guys, as you can bring us into the Dragon Ball Legends T.O.P. walkthrough video. This is going to be part one of two for the standard edition. If you guys are looking for the pocket edition, that will be linked in the description down below. Alright, so this is the team we're going to be using. Remember, you guys have to put on your equips before we start the path itself or else you will not be able to do so. And another tip that I always like to give is I, I switch this guy over to Blast. I know he has a little bit more strike right here, but it's literally by the tiniest amount. You can swap him over the blast and another thing here is that we are using the new parasite trunks and i know most of you guys might not have them or simply don't want to use them because of star levels uh, if you go into a tier and you pick up this demon king piccolo i think he's the perfect replacement for him i actually think this guy works excellently alongside this zenkai green piccolo right here another thing that i will mention with the the baby trunks is the fact that he is at friendship rank 7 we have been consistently farming him up if you are using him i do advise getting his friendship rank up all right so the first fight we're going up against is straight ahead of us five to this stage it is against girls all right this is the formation we're going to use right here we're going to put a purple and a yellow on backup boot tanks with the super attack tile all right for attack order let's get the red 18 out of the way and then we'll go for this blue pan very easy kill there and then we will go for the videl the bulma the tag units and then or well the assist unit and then chi chi at the end I do have to say for the first couple of turns that Trunks, he has a really high key resource speed. He's actually, for the first two turns, he's attacking faster than my Red Buhan, which is insane. Red Buhan has an insane amount of key resource speed. All right, next is the three-fifth stage to the left of us. It is against the Battle of God stage. Right, this is the team formation we're going to be using for this one right here. Um, because there's multiple greens, I'm going to go ahead and put both my blues next to each other so they can get a little bit of a heal here. And as for attack order, we got to get Beerus out of the way first since he will stun at the start of turn two. And let's go ahead and get both greens out of the way. And then we'll go for the purple, Whis, yellow, and then Goku. All right, so three-fifth stage shouldn't be difficult at all, especially with that lineup right there. There's a lot of old units right there. Full kill, no rush needed. Next is the five-fifth stage to the left of us. It is against Legends Road. Remember that Trunks is our enemy, our main enemy. All right, so I actually think this will be fine right here. So we do know that Trunks is going to attack first, and he has a special move, right? So he can probably just snipe a unit out, right? He has 100% to his gauge and stuff like that. I don't think we need the Super Baby 2 heals here. All right, so given that we have these super attacks lined up here, let's go for this Trunks first, and then the Legends Road Piccolo, this Gohan, um, the Great Saiyan Go Tanks, and then Goku. All right, so that, that fight was it's like unexpectedly easy right they're all legends road they're all buffing each other they're all like giving passive buffs to each other too 1.4 million off of that is massive and we got the full kill and everyone's looking extremely solid and another thing that i something that i definitely missed here is that this trunks um since i had him on that yellow title to boost his special move he actually upgrades that special move into the ultimate which is extremely helpful all right, so next is a three-fifths fight straight above us. It is against Namek Saga. Shouldn't be too hard. So this is the team formation we're going to use right here. Just double greens on backup because of the triple purples. And so for attack order, we're going to go ahead and start off with the tag unit. That's going to be probably the most damage on their team. Then we'll go for the EX Nail, an easy kill there. And then for the LF Frieza, the LF Goku, Healer Piccolo, and then Ultra Vegeta. Another very easy fight right there. Only three-fifths difficulty, so kind of expected that much. One million off of that is really good, though. All right, next is straight above us once again. Our four-fifth stage against the PyCon stage, double PyCon. Remember, this is the fifth win bonus, too. So you are... This is one of the important fights right here. All right, so this is the team formation we're going to be using right here. We got Cell and the Yellow Metal Cooler on backup right here. Typically, I would actually put Yellow Metal Cooler right here, but because we're going up against the Yellow PyCon, he is going to be able to stun this guy because he is both powerful opponent and sagas from the movies that's his stun condition right so the rest of this unit should be good all right so attack order i'm gonna go for the red pike on first he will super on turn three remember that um and then we'll go for the tn we'll go for the red tn yellow pike on transforming gohan and then revival gohan at the end all right everything went pretty smoothly or as smooth as possible there um, we did get the 1.3 million full kill. Even with saving the purple unit for last, our green units are absolutely in top condition. All right, so next is a five-fifth stage to the right of us. It is against the Ginyu Force. 
All right, so this is the team formation we're gonna be using right here. I'm gonna put Piccolo on backup, uh, the Zenkai Piccolo that is, and then we're also gonna put Super Baby 2 on backup. We're gonna just try and get as much damage as we can. Boot Tanks is going to be getting this special move tile, also getting buffed by this yellow cell, and then this purple cell has his super attack available to him. All right, so for attack order, I think I wanna go for the, I, I wanna get these guys out of the way first. Um, because they do have a cover change, and once they do activate that cover change, they can debuff you. And then we'll go for the, the Sparking Ginyu with our Cell, and then get the other Tag Unit out of the way, because the Tag Units are going to be the biggest threats overall, right? And then we'll go for the Birder, the Goldo, and then we'll go for Ginyu. Alright, so that is a bit of an annoying stage. I think um the, we should probably take out the Purple Ginyu a little bit earlier, because this guy is not the tankiest unit, the Baby Trunks, that is. So, but 1.5 million, I'm still okay with that. All right, next is three fifth stage to the left of us. It is against GT. All right, so this is the team formation we're going to use right here. There's three purples, so we're not even going to bother bringing in our greens right here. This should be more than enough damage, though. All right, so for attack order, we're going to go ahead and start off with the, the red kid Goku. Then we'll go for the purple 17, the yellow 17, the back to the purple regular 7th, or the Hellfighter 17, this EX Goku, and then the Super 17. Again, another really easy fight. Only three fifth stage, right? So we're kind of just we're kind of just chilling right here. For a three fifth stage, getting 1.2 million though is a big deal. All right, so next is a five fifth stage right ahead of us. It is against Frieza Force. All right, so this is the team formation that I want to use right here. Again, putting both of our Zenkai units on bench. You just got to be really careful about this guy taking a lot of damage. That's why he is going to be on that sustained damage cut tile. We do have boot tanks on the special move tile just to go ahead and get it a little bit more damage. And then also the cell is going to be buffing him. So that's going to be a little bit helpful there. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to go for the yellow Bardock first because boot tanks should be able to kill him with the super because the Buhan's going to be attacking him first, which is the red unit, right? And then we'll go for the Frieza, go for Nappa, Shugesh. We'll go for Raditz. And then this guy right here, um, I am the only thing that sucks because this, this fight is heavily RNG dependent. Because that purple Frieza will stun you at the start of turn one. You can't do anything about it, and it's a completely random unit. So let's see how this goes. All right, so surprisingly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's see how much points we actually get. 1.6. Okay. All right, we're kind of cooking right here. We do almost have a super, or we do have the super type of trunks with this guy, almost close with this guy too. I think we are in motion. All right, so next is a five fifth stage to the right of us. It is against a free to play stage. It's, this should be easy, theoretically. All right, so I think this is going to be the best course of action right here. Uh, I don't want to bring in my green units because of the multiple purples, or, or there's two purples, right? Um, and because of the fact that there's the double reds, we're going to have our yellows, because I do want to bring in the yellows, but we'll have them supported by Super Baby 2 heals. All right, so first unit I'm going to get out of the way is going to be a red unit. Um, just because we have the boot tank super attack remember and then we'll get the super boo out of the way because he will stun at the start of turn three we Don't want that to happen. Then we will go for Android 18. We'll go for the ultimate Gohan We'll go for this guy and then we'll get the tapion at the end Perfect fight perfectly easy fight too. I think the double yellows are really really strong for this season right here Especially because of fights like that right 1.6 mil. All right, so next is a five stage to the left of us It is against this is actually an OG fight right here If you guys have been sticking if you guys have been watching for a while We have come across this fight since like the early seasons of T.O.P. All right, so this is the team formation We're gonna use right here. There's triple reds here, obviously, so we don't want to bring in our yellows um, I'm gonna do something a little bit funny here since this guy does have hundred percent to his special move we can upgrade that special move to the ultimate with the yellow tile so that's exactly what we're gonna do and we're gonna get boot tanks this key restore speed tile so we're gonna get supers back to back so for attack order I'm gonna go for this trunks first because he does have that buff against regeneration I uh, will go for the cell um, the the first form cell then we'll go for the perfect cell the Kefla and then we'll save the last two reds at the end starting from Kakarot to go tanks all right that one was a ridiculously easy fight man it's so 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 easy we did get yeah, two million off of that Two million? Okay, all right. And we did, obviously, we got the full kill. Everyone's looking great. All right, so next is the five fifth stage. It is to the right of us. It is against this hybrid stage, hybrids. All right, so this is the team formation we're gonna use right here. There's like four greens here, right? So we're not gonna be bringing in our blues. Um, this cell is going to be buffing up the red boo. And he, this cell should be buffing up the, the trunks up here too, because according to his little ability, right? It should be, th this is his range of support right here so he does above him immediately to the right of him and then from that right section to the diagonal to the right or to the left up here i just don't know why it doesn't really reflect that when you're actually looking at his buff tiles i don't know if that's a visual bug or something 
but the first unit we do have to get out of the way here is Goten by default just because he will super attack on turn two then we'll get this red Gotenks out of the way because we don't have a blue unit to deal with him he's gonna be if we leave him to the end he's gonna damage our yellows pretty badly there right then we'll go for this Gohan who does have the cover rescue this Gohan who has the the support capabilities and then from there it doesn't matter who you can go for the Gotenks and then the trunks another incredibly easy fight right there even without the super baby two hills so I can't complain about that 1.8 million getting some super attacks built up here we did get the full kill no rush needed so next is a fight straight above us for fifth stage it is against this stupid broly this stage is hard it's it's annoying all right so this is the team formation we're going to be using right here um hopefully this does work out for us i want trunks on the, this tile so we can get reduced damage and we'll have boot tanks over here since he is going to get that super attack of course i would put him here uh in that yellow so tile so that way he can go ahead and upgrade his special move but i want to go ahead and just get that early oops I just all right, so this is the team formation we're going to use right here. Backup does include Zenkai Baby and the EX Purple Cell. We do have Bootanks with the special move tile, and we're going to have Trunks specifically in this damage sustain tile. All right, so for attack order, I'm going to go for the Ultra Broly first. I'm just going to do it. He has a stun on turn two. If I can kill him in turn one, that is a huge boon for us. And then we will go for this blue Broly. That should be a very easy kill. We'll go for the, the green Broly, this yellow Broly, the, the EX one. Those free to play blue one and then the yellow healing one at the end. Well, he's not a, I don't think he's a healer, but he does buff uh, max HP. We have made a fatal mistake. Not, not necessarily a fatal mistake, but a big mistake. We still got 1.6 million and we did get the full kill there, but Trunks did super attack. He did super attack. So I obviously am missing something in his kit right here. He was at 90%. I know for certain. So, and you get, I believe it's like 3% at the start of the first turn. So he would, he, he has something in here that gives him oh he does at the start of the turn he gets 10 percent to his own special move gauge if there is a tag saying or hybrid saying i am absolutely stupid all right so next fight is against this five fist stage and it's it's the same fight it's just a higher difficulty straight ahead of us so we're going to be using the same team members but i'm probably going to use a different attack order to optimize it a little bit all right, so this is what I'm going to do for the team formation here. Um, unfortunately, no sustained damage cut tiles. Boot tanks will still be getting that super attack, and he's going to be getting buffed by this cell right here. This metal cooler is also getting a super attack, so that's going to be helpful as well. All right, so for attack order, again, uh, we're going for the yellow or the ultra Broly, the purple, and then we'll go for the green tr um, Broly right after that into uh, this old school sparking Broly, the blue one, into the, the yellow EX and then the free to play blue and then the yellow super saiyan all right so that one that one was a little bit more difficult just because of the the increased difficulty right there but i so far i'm really happy with trunks i am extremely happy with him look at how close he super attacked that fight by the way so he super attacked last fight um he super attacked this fight and he's getting close to another super attack already or well no he didn't super attack last fight did he um no yeah he did he did yeah he's nuts he, he's just absolutely nuts man i'm i'm a big fan of this unit so 1.7 million that's going to go ahead and be the last fight of the video before we close it out let's go ahead and see where we lie on the leaderboard so as of right now we are sitting at rank 657 and we are not breaking a sweat at all we don't even need the super baby heels right now that's how well we're doing this this is a phenomenal start to the season this trunks is a phenomenal unit if you guys want to use them i actually do heavily recommend them we don't even have to finish the board before i can tell you guys i'm gonna go ahead and recommend using them thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one later